Curls for the girls, huh? <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah. Uh, that's a clean break right there. Oh, there's a baby's arm. Bread upon miracle waters. Please don't eat the papers. Oh it is so bad. See, it's a win for all parties involved. The entire time. That's a great battery cable. Well, if you would have had your flops on. Rocky. Rocky's getting his miracle. Here's the rest of the baby. This other stuff did not do. UGO fat back. Oh wow, look at that. On a fair fight, we're taking those spots out. It's not a lot. Awesome. So the kids can smoke. 42,000 miles from Utah. Sleep down there. And they don't check the cracks either. The elbow grease from my kids. Start from the top, you weirdo. <laughs> You win. Oh. Polish a turd. Oh, oh, oh she oh, fainted. Man. She fainted. All Rocky's babies. Welcome back to the Sleeper Dude channel. We're back with our Ford Fairmont Futura. Got a 302 hog leg V8 in it, too. We're going to try to tow this thing over down our driveway and clean it up today. Try to get these pine needles off there. It's been sitting in the woods for I don't know how long, honestly. Maybe 30 years or something. It's ridiculous. If you watch the video of us pulling it out of the junkyard, it had 4,000 cars that were getting crushed. So we saved this one from the crusher, and now we're going to clean it up and see uh, what kind of shape it's in before we do our will it start video on this thing. Now this video is gonna be just a little bit out of order because I'm still working on the RV videos. We took over 2,000 videos on our trip, so still working on editing that one, but I thought we could sneak this one in on you guys so you have something to watch until I get that edited. So we got Wawa behind the wheel today. She's gonna <laughs> drive for us. Hopefully she doesn't wreck. Hopefully. We got mom over here as the brakes today. You might not have a garage door after this. So it has no brakes, but we're gonna use a block of wood probably or something like that and park as brakes. Hopefully park will be enough brakes for this thing. I hope it has park. Maybe. Well, that went pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and walk around it real quick just so you can see what we're starting with here. The whole thing, if you watched the other video, was covered in pine needles, the whole roof and everything, because it was sitting in the woods. But the ones on the roof already came off. Looks like it had a vinyl top at some point. Yeah, 302 car, all the options. I mean, when this was new, this was a really top of the line car. AC, power steering, power brakes, uh, cruise control and everything. But we'll be doing a will it start video on the car after we get it cleaned up but you know couldn't really get it do a will it start with it this nasty look at all the junk in here i couldn't see anything backing up i'm just glad they protected that dash you know if you've been watching the uh, channel anytime at all you know i'm a nut about these ugly fox body cars but look at this aluminum key love it in here we've been here once before so look we got the whole top end to some engine uh that's not a chevrolet there i thought that was chevrolet but I have to take a look at it and see what that's off of. But shoot, we probably got two, three hundred pounds of junk in this trunk to get out. But it's about to get dark tonight, so we're gonna get straight on this thing first thing in the morning. All right, Ralphie appeared. It's the next morning. We actually looked at the sticker in the door on this thing. It's built in 1977, so this is an early production vehicle. We're probably gonna get Ralphie to get his truck and trailer, and we're gonna unload the trunk on this thing and some of the stuff out of the inside and start cleaning this thing up. Curls for the girls, huh? He loves this thing. A free mower and a $40 trailer. I don't think he can back this thing up. He thinks he can back up to it. Too short of a trailer, I think. <laughs> Let's see him number three. Oh, he's getting it. He's in a cut. <laughs> Let's see him four. <laughs> Let's see him five. Why don't you just pull over here? That's what I told him to do in the first place. Like, if you can't bag it, pull it over here. There you go. Good job. It's just because the trailer's so short. I know. All right, let's unload this thing. 
Oh, Lord. Yeah, look at all this cast iron in here. Surprise, the casings is holding it up. Is that a Pontiac? Look at how rusted up the ports are. Look at this. This shows you how how wet it was where this car was parked. Mm. Yeah, it's got shaft rock on I'm thinking this is a Pontiac or old vision, if I was guessing. I couldn't find any numbers on those heads because they're so caked up with gunk. It's stuck. Oh my gosh. It's it won't move. I rusted up. Look at that. It's hot there. I just want to dig it out. Oh my gosh. I don't think that time and change reusable. We're gonna have a darn complete engine in here, Ralphie. Look, there's a main cap. Main cap with a bolt rusted into it. A kid's book, isn't it? There's your distributor. It looks like I was off. It says Chrysler. So it looks like these parts are off some sort of a Chrysler product. Look, they put all the head bolts and everything in here. I'm just glad the engine block's not in here. Shoot. There's you a new hat, Ralphie. Yeah. Reeds, paint, and decorating, Utah. I wonder this, how this came like from Utah. Thing. This stuff's not cracked. Hey, we can use that, can't we? Yeah. What are these for? They're just taking communion in the back of a Fairmont. I mean, it seems right to take communion in the back of a Fairmont. Seems religious. Is this for a Fairmont? Is this the owner's manual? Ah, oh, look at that. 78 Fairmont Owners Mill. See, this thing was built in December of 77, so it's a 78 mall. Well, at least we have it. That's awesome. X-rays. What in the world? Oh, my God. I got to see it. Uh, I've never had X-rays so far. 1988 X-rays, Todd. Oh, my gosh. That's great. Uh, that's a clean break right there. <laughs> You're looking at 6 to 12 weeks off your feet, sir. Looks like an elbow. Oh, that looks bad. Maybe this thing was parked in 88. 34 years ago. First car we've ever found somebody's x-rays from the doctor in. Somebody's old socket tray. Look, they've been taking care of it. They got their armor all sponge. We got a carpet sample. Uh oh, they're having transmission troubles. Mm -hmm. Hey, here's some hangers, honey. Oh, there's a baby's arm. Oh my God. <laughs> that scared me so bad. Oh no, here you go. <laughs> It's a bow. It's a bow. It must have came back from church or something. What is this? Yeah. Where the arrow hits depending upon the warrior's aim. Oh, it's a yearbook. Oh, that's funny. I want to know what year this is. It doesn't say what year. A big gulp here? A big, big one? Taco time? Look at that. We're going to have to keep them, honey. There's a rat's nest down in there. All right, we got the gloves back on now. Let's get this out of here. Look how much water that was holding against the floor. Oh. Not good. But it doesn't seem to be rusted out. But let's go get the stuff out of the front of the car. Got brake issues. Lots of them. Oh, yeah. Nancy and Charlie cast their bread upon miracle waters. Now it's your turn. Well, I got an extra pair of socks now. Rear view. I don't think the rear view's salvageable. The cat. I knew the cat would get in here. They're so nosy, aren't they? That fell My off wife her. ripped this off the side of the car maliciously. Here's our sun visor thing. Oh, we got more animals here to check everything out. These are multi paper ones. Halip. <laughs> Halip Asipal Paul. <laughs> Need help call police or something. Here. Oh, yeah, take a nibble. Oh, we got the rare double mat option. And these mats are just like glued down. The place we got this from, it was so swampy. Yeah, it's probably going to have some floor issues if I was guessing. Oh. Yeah, I'm trying to read it. <laughs> so this is like uh, Rocky. Don't get my recipes. I wanted to make some Victorian sponge cake. Now neither one of us can have it, Rocky. Please, please don't eat the papers. Probably might have a date on it. You probably ate the date. Well, this is postmark 1990. That's 32 years. So maybe it was 1990. Yeah, this is also marked 1990. So maybe it was 32 years ago. Ouch. What are you doing to my ear? <laughs> Look, we got Dr. Pepper in here. We can't afford Dr. Pepper. We got them Dr. Thunders. Look, what is that? Your legs. It's just sleeves? Double mat option again on this corner. 
What in the world? It's from a nitrous bottle, bro. Is that the bottle bracket? Radio gone. Nitrous bottle, bro. This is a race car. Nothing in the glove box. Maybe there's a little paper in here. It's looks like it came off a of Titanic. <laughs> it's in such bad shape. There's a crayon. Another 1990, so. Must be 32 years since she broke down in Tennessee from Utah. So I thought I could pull this off, but it's actually glued down to the dash. I believe we got all the big stuff out of here. So we can probably start cleaning this thing up now. We're gonna start with the outside and get some of this junk off here. It's kind of crazy how much stuff is on this thing. Just right off into your driveway, guys. It really doesn't matter at all. Looks like the trunk solid underneath there. I was a little bit worried about how much moisture that had held against it. Look. Oh, mm. Watch out. Oh, oh my gosh. That is so bad for the car. Mm. Well, hey, hold on, hold on. There's metal in here. Oh my gosh. They want to hold them pine needles down. No wonder they didn't blow off. We drove at 45, or we hauled at 45 minutes here and it never blew off. I was like, how did it never blow off? I guess that metal was holding it down. Oh, no, I'm long enough for this. Hey. Uh, hey, Dad. Python. Oh, quit. <laughs> oh, I, I think it had an emblem, but it's not there. Oh, yeah, right in the middle of the driveway. That the cow is warped up right there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Looks so. Okay. Well, I think I'm just going to pull these off because it looks like they're going to come off anyway, unfortunately. Maybe we can reuse them later. Not much holding them anymore. I'll try to keep them as straight as I can. I think it already looks better. <laughs> yeah. Don't be stealing my mulch. I charge for that. See, it's a win for all parties involved. I get a car, she gets some mulch. Ralphie, I didn't even notice before it had the shag carpet in the back know, shelf as well. o-ring is broke so i got an o-ring here i found in the shop and a nice lady named janie had sent me a new pressure washer one that's shorter so we're gonna try it out no way
Okay, it's Wawa's turn. out on other platforms at sleeper dude 88 With dirt and junk from that right there. My poor wife. That junk gets in there and then brought the gutter out of them. Well, she's looking better already just with the pressure washing. So we're gonna come back with this with probably some bleach and scrub the spray paint off the windows and stuff. But I love the red stripe with the black car. Can't get much better than that on color combination. But now we're gonna clean underneath the hood of this thing and get the outside dirty again. But we gotta plug this carburetor hole. His, they just got like their old, I don't know, work pants, yeah? Looks yeah, like my dad's old work pants they stole and put in there. Rocky, don't eat the pressure washer stuff, please. Why does he love cardboard? I'm gonna use these sleeves I found in there. Plug these holes, I don't want any, especially any junk getting down in here. I'm a little bit worried about how stuck this engine's gonna be. The carburetor was missing off of it and that lets moisture get down in the valves and stuff. 
we'll have to put something down through there and pull the plugs out and get it loosened back up hopefully what's that pull chain that is your uh cruise control oh lord that's a great battery cable yeah yeah so the wife had a great idea to go ahead and vacuum some of this off instead of blowing it around everywhere so we got ralphie's little vacuum here that a viewer sent us Uh, it's gonna instantly stop it up. <laughs> this ain't gonna work, I don't think. Okay, we got the big boy to wall down now. What is this? Something that's growing up through here? I didn't even realize it's missing the radiator. You didn't look at nothing but Fairmont. I, I just saw Fairmont. That's all I need to know. Alright, time for the super clean. <laughs> Well, that cleaned up pretty nice. I see we have some typical rust under the battery tray here, but yeah, look at them blue valve covers now. I love these old AC stickers and the old stickers on the on the uh, radiator support. Man, this thing was optioned out when it was new, though. Look, every option. Uh, really like this thing. I don't know if these are available with a four barrel. I have to look that one up. I'm not sure, but. I mean, 1977 when this was produced, uh, not a peak year for performance, though. So. Walk away for two seconds, and Rocky's out here eating instructions to our pressure washer one. Rocky, you stepped on a nail? Yeah. Well, if you would have had your flops on, maybe it would have protected you from a nail. You're wearing Crocs. That's judgment. Judgment from the Lord, right there. <laughs> I am going to rip this headliner down. There's no saving this one. Oh, there was like one tiny string holding up there. Well, that was easy. That's pretty good. We'll just leave that up here. Rocky? No. Rocky! This video brought to you by UGO Fatback. Having trouble with that sled? Just wax the bottom of it up with this Fatback and you'll be in the pond in no time. You can wax your surfboard with it. You got a squeaky door hinge? This is your answer. Or you can just eat it one bite at a time like I do. Now back to our regularly scheduled broadcast. Our back seat's already just loose sitting there so I'm gonna pull it out. You got a playing car with a pig on it. What does that say? Crazy eights. Don't know what that is. Let Sorry, me calculator. Let me know in the yeah. comments. We got a duck. Utah again. State Department. Driver's license. Something. Uh, look at that tiny playing card. What is this? Is everything in there is like 1990. Get ready to receive your miracles. So it says Robert Tilton Ministries. I never heard of him. Have you? Rocky's getting his miracle. No, no, Rocky. We had to put Rocky up for his own protection. He'll eat anything, so we're going to vacuum this out now. Hey, where are we getting paint out of this deal?
Here's the rest of the baby. There's his leg. Somebody's picture, some girl's picture sitting on a tree. We got some rust in this back floorboard for sure. We can't afford them real nice ones. That'll work. Utah 1988 was the last like wheel tax sticker. Well, I think that's pretty good. We're so we've had a bunch of different tips on how to clean stuff like this off door panels. So we're gonna try a couple different things today. Uh, I'm gonna try the tried and true tough stuff first. We let it sit on there for a second. Let's see how it does. Now, my buddy Scott told me to try scrubbing bubbles, so we're gonna try it. Oh gosh, there is some bubbles in there. Well, me and Wawa think there's more black stains still left on this part than there is this. It looks like tough stuff is the winner in those two. So now we got this stuff, cover all, zap it, stain remover. <laughs> Ew, oh, that's gross. Okay, next test, we got some CLR here. Ooh. What Ooh. in the world? Oh, look, it just like doesn't wipe off. It just spreads around. Okay, lastly, we're gonna try this Loss Totally Awesome uh, as seen on TV, so you know it's good. A lot of you guys are recommending this from the dollar store, so. That works pretty good, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So if I had to judge them, I would say this Totally Awesome stuff is really good. I would say the tough stuff is real close to it. Then I would say the CLR and the coverall is real similar. I don't think the scrubbing bubbles did that good. We got a lot of stain still on there. So I think I'm gonna use this stuff. I would probably rank this number one. Mm -hmm. and I think I'm gonna go back over this and see if it'll take off some of the stains that this other stuff did not do. Maybe, maybe you did. <laughs> maybe it doesn't have wood grain anymore. <laughs> I don't know why, but these old rubber armrests are so hard to get the spots off of. Well, it cleaned up pretty nice. It's a little warped up from water damage on the bottom, but I couldn't get these spots out even with using the different types of cleaners. But I really do like that Law Awesome stuff. That's pretty cool. Uh, and it's cheap, but took the wood grain off for us. Well, this seat's in such bad shape. I think I'm just gonna degrease it and pressure wash it since it's already out of the car. Oh wow, look at that. Like it's cleaned up really nice. I'm gonna set this thing out in the sun to dry. So now we're gonna have a head to head showdown. We got Squeezy from here over with the tough stuff and a brush, Ralphie from here over with the law totally awesome. We're gonna see which one works better. You know the rules. I want a fair fight, okay? Don't cross this line.
who's gonna be the winner? Don't cross your line. Don't cross your line, son. What do you think, Tosh? Is it is this tough stuff win or the law awesome win? Oh, I don't know. The tough stuff did I pretty think, good. I think the tough stuff did pretty good. I think we've been doing all right with our tough stuff, but I do like this do like awesome too. stuff too. It's kind of a coin toss between the two for me. It's kind of surprising how good that door panel looks though after that. Red interior, black car, can't beat it. So we got some resolve here. It says for heavy traffic. I'm gonna say this car has been in heavy traffic at some point. So you can see it taking those spots out. Now, I don't know if this would work on a car that hadn't been in heavy traffic before. Not sure. We're trying to go above and beyond on this one because I know a lot of our cleanup videos, I've been in kind of a hurry and just vacuuming them out, not worried about the spots and stuff. We're trying to go the extra mile on this one. Man, it's taking it off. Maybe we should be using that law awesome on this part. I don't know. This seems to be doing okay. Yeah. Got it. It's taking the black off. Gonna be ready for Barrett Jackson. I know, right? I'm using the law awesome on this side. It's not law awesome. It's law awesome. It says it it's right. LA on... is totally awesome. It says law awesome on the side of it. It's Spanish. It's a hot mess. Well, at least it's got an ashtray in the back so the kids can smoke. Cleaning your Crocs? Yeah. Not much we can do about the old shag up there. I might vacuum it off. It's like a tax sticker. How many miles does it have? 42,596. I mean, the pedals don't look wore out. The seat is in really good shape over there, except for right at the edge. I guess there's a possibility it could have 42,000 miles. I mean, it got parked in, in 1990. What is that? It was only 12 years old. Could have 42,000 miles, I guess. It's 42,000 miles from Utah. Look, this is the only tear on the seat right there. And look how nice the pedals look. There's a chance it only has 40-something thousand miles in 12 years of driving it. I love this steering wheel. Was it small and brown? I like the thin steering wheels like that. <laughs> At least it's not got one of those steering wheels that's made out of like gummy bears or whatever it is that turns into goo when you touch them. Look at the add-on arm for the cruise control. It clips on to this. Oh, yeah, it's taking it right off there.
Yeah, I love pink floor mats. I like that pink color. Man, look at this beauty. It cleaned up way better than I thought it would. Yeah, it's not bad at all. And we got the spots out of the seats. Not bad at all. But you can see where the visor was sitting forever and ever. But I guess that's what 32 years of sun damage does to you. It was ripping up the carpet if you couldn't tell. So I just kind of stopped vacuuming that. Now we're going to wash the outside of this thing with uh, probably some bleach and a brush. We may even get some Comet and a scotch brought to this thing because it does have some some surface rust coming through now that it's dried off you can see it you doing a big shot oh yeah big shot pouring one out for the baby ducks all right we're going to start with the jams here because they're pretty nasty okay. Okay. I think we're just going to rinse out this trunk at first because it is really nasty. So we got stuff going down. Look at soup down there. I'm going to take these off so we don't mess them up washing it. Okay. Well. I can't believe we didn't lose those out. Look at that. Uh -huh. Wow. A lot of people don't clean their door jams. And they don't check the cracks either. Don't want to mess up a sticker though. All right, we're going to start on the outside now. See all these spots right here? We're hoping that the bleach and the elbow grease from my kids will get that off there. Now, this is actual something in the paint there, but a lot of this junk like this hopefully will come off now that we wash it. And this right here is surface rust from all those pine needles sitting on it. I think we're going to take a uh, scotch bright and comment to that. So we're going to wet it down and spray it down with bleach. Squeeze likes to run the water hose. Nobody's safe. Nobody's safe. I had to glue them back in, huh? Alright, so here's our bleach. That might get the paint up on there. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Mm rust water coming off there. I think some of it's coming off. You reckon? Yeah. I hate that noise. At least we clean the inside of the tail lot. Can you throw the red pin strap on it? I want to see it's bigger. Yeah. Star skin touch?
What a beautiful front end. Oh, you're getting it, Wawa. Wow, wow. Did the top. Where did he get that voice? It's like <laughs> your invitation. Asthmatic. Old oh, man voice. It's stuck. Great. Wonderful. <laughs> I got him. I barely splashed you on accident. No, you didn't. And you maliciously attacked me. <laughs> so I've never cleaned an aluminum bumper with this. Uh. We're going to try to clean these aluminum bumpers. I'm pretty good on that rest. Have you noticed that squeeze has disappeared again? Oh, yeah. She just slinks out whenever <laughs> she can. Oh, he sprayed me again. Hey, hey, hey. Enough, enough. See, it was stained up like this. It took that stain off from around there. So it does work. It doesn't work as good as chrome because you still got that grayness to it. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Let's see if it'll take this off the back bumper. Oh, yeah. State farm sticker? Yeah, not much left of it. Usually I leave stuff like that, but there wasn't much left that one. What are you doing? Ooh. Okay. I should do taps. I'd give it a few taps. Don't do that. I'm going to go Oh, fake. You see it? Yeah. <laughs> I know my PB blaster. I thought you know your mama. Ta -da! Looks like perfect inside. I don't think I've seen one do exactly that. I'm not getting anywhere near that valve stem because I know what'll happen. More fun to clean them when they're white walls. Oh yeah. I think I'm gonna go out over it with the comet and the scotch right here and see if we can take some of the surface rust off of this paint. What do you think, Ralph? coarser scotch right than this though. It works on this. This takes the oxidation off oh, yeah. too. Yeah. I think I did it too hard. Okay, don't do that. I'm gonna rinse it. Oh, it's a piece of art. Like Yeah, 
Mm. I want to paint off her pin strap for sure. top was I believe. Oh geez. That's terrible. Man, now's the time to take your pictures for Facebook Marketplace. You see all in cars in the car wash. Man, I wish it looked this shiny when it was dry, huh? Yeah, you need to buff it. Well you could clear coat it and it would look like that. But then that rust is gonna make it peel eventually. But man, I just love a black car. I can't imagine how nice this thing looked when it was uh shiny black on the outside and red interior instead of pink. Well put some of that interior is white now got a little bit of a leak for sure got a little dampness on the seats but man this interior cleaned up way better than i thought it was going to didn't didn't you think it was a goner yeah you got a baby peeper wawa no this is my baby peeper so what they sat on it and hatched out and then didn't raise it they didn't want nothing to do yeah, with it after that i saved him a wife i gave him some sugar water and then and we lived oh well i think that took a lot of our streaks off there let's see what it did about the Rust. I think it took some of the rust stains off, but Ralphie definitely found the limits of the paint job over here. Some of it on the edges, but this one may be one we eventually try to buff. We may go over this with uh, compound and polish, wax this thing up at some point, but that'll probably after we get it running and driving, I would say. But man, this thing cleaned up pretty nice. I don't think you can polish a turd. That is not nice, honey. <laughs> That's great. Well, you know how we finish them off around here. You do it without spraying us. Oh, there you go. Good job. But remember, drink your RC Colas, eat your bourbon barbecue bananas. I can't think of a single thing that tastes better. Not one thing. The bourbon in bourbon barbecue means extra nutrients. Pour one out for your homies right on your toes. It's fine. It was great to be able to wash something that was the peak of automotive styling in America. There'll definitely be a will it start video on this one coming soon. I really hope that engine's not totally locked up. It might be. It's, it's, it's been around a lot of moisture. There you go. That's that good stuff, isn't it? If you've watched this channel anytime at all, you know these are like my favorite cars in the world. The Fairmonts and LTDs, any of the Thunderbirds, any of the ugly Fox body cars are like my favorite. Mm, that's that good stuff. What's wrong with you? Just take the whole thing. Here, see, watch Rocky go. But you can check us out on our second channel at Sleeper Dude 2. Oh, yeah. You can check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Sleepy88. Exactly. We got to get back on the other Fairmont Futuro too, the big block twin turbo project. We definitely got to do that. We need to get back on the Malibu, getting the brakes done on it. Mm -hmm. And we got to do a cleanup video on the yellow LTD too before we get it running. Now you got to save some for me, Rocky. We still need to do the Fairmont wagon. Yeah, yeah, we need to do it too. You can check out our merchandise down below. We really appreciate you guys watching. I'm just living the dream here, getting to clean up Fairmonts all day, and you guys make it possible, and we really do appreciate that. Just remember to slap that like button and subscribe if you're not already. Curls for the girls? Yeah, curls for the girls. I'm trying to think. We got one, three, four, five. I think we got seven Fox Body vehicles here, and none of them are Mustangs. They're all, they're all Thunderbirds, LTDs, Fairmonts. I just love them. What can I say? We were to save some of this for Bahia, huh? Mm-hmm. She'll be mad. She'll be mad if I don't give her some. V8, <laughs> black, outside, red pin stripes, red interior. I, I mean, two-door cool. car, all the options. Peak of American styling. I think it's terribly ugly. How dare you insult dare us you? like that? She cleaned up pretty good for a car that's been sitting 32 years. So let's go give Bahia some RC Cola. Mm-hmm. That's that good stuff. You love it, don't you? We're going to have to do a weigh-in on her soon. I don't know if I can pick her up. How come your belly's so tight now that you're out here in the field with everybody else? Hey, girl. Now, she's half fainting goat, so every oh, now and then faints. every now and then she'll faint, but I, I haven't been able to get on video yet. It's hog jaws. Oh, I'm hog jaws. Are you mad at me, Lainey? Oh, 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 she oh, fainted. fainted. She fainted. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, no. <laughs> Poor thing. What scared her? The other one. Anything. I can't believe we got on video. The other goat oh, ran by. Great. It's great. That's all it takes? Another goat running by you? Give it a you minute. Okay, you back together? That's so crazy that they do that. It's a little sad, isn't it? It is a little sad. All Rocky's babies scratching on the fence. 
Look at them. They all look like him, don't they? Mm -hmm. All spotted up like Rocky. That one's attacking you. I'm not nice. I know. What are you doing? He used to like chew on people's clothes. But now he is trying to hurt, hurt you. Hey, he's to be nice. I just got diarrhea on me. Oh, we got diarrhea on you. Okay. <laughs> Peace out, Girl Scout.